Breastfeeding in public. Dear, ah, uh, yes. Dear Billy Crimson Tits. Hmm. Let me... <laughs> see this, Crimson This tits? is why I don't do Ask Me Anything, because this is all it's going to be. There are so many, um, Billy, like when you were on The Simpsons, someone wrote, oh, Billy Yellow Nips is going to be yep. on. <laughs> Yeah, uh, let me say congr- I, I like it. I think it's funny. Uh, let me say congrats on the Pats having early season success. I am from the Bay Area, and we are hoping the Giants get into the playoffs again to win their fourth even year World Series in a row. The Bay, oh, the Giants. The uh, okay, I see the baseball. Um, well, this is an old one. Then knocked out of the playoffs. Recently, I was traveling through Columbia with my girlfriend. We were in the airport when we randomly saw a woman breastfeeding her baby just out in the open in one of the terminal waiting areas. Uh, what was weird is as she was doing it, she was looking around, making eye contact with everyone who was walking by uh, the way a dog looks around a park while it unloads a dump. <laughs> <laughs> My initial reaction was <laughs> saying to my girlfriend, oh, man, that's gross. She's, she is breastfeeding. Apparently, this opened the floodgates of feminism. My girlfriend responded, why is that gross? That's hypocritical. You men love to see boobs, uh, but when it's for you, when it's for nature's purpose, you complain. I then responded, well, the ass purpose is to shit and men are turned on by a nice ass. Are women now going to start taking dumps publicly since that is the butt's primary purpose? That's a great fucking point. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. It's she... not the same at all. What are you talking about? Shitting in public cannot be compared to breastfeeding in public. They are not the same thing at all. That's what's called a false equivalency. Yeah, I don't know. It's both. It's both. You're, you're you're excreting something from your body, and people don't want to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, she responded that there is an obvious difference. Yeah. <laughs> uh, since then, my girlfriend has been sending me all these pro-public breastfeeding videos of moms defending uh, the action. You did it. <laughs> I find it amusing how women all defend it and encourage it, but they know how creepy it is. So most of them won't actually publicly breastfeed with their own kids i explained to my girlfriend that it isn't the rack sighting that annoys us obviously since most of us guys enjoy a nice set it's more just the public nature of witnessing a baby drink its dinner off its mother's udders yeah he goes i felt like a chump because i was having trouble explaining why it's not okay to publicly breastfeed no it's okay to do it but like you have the right to look at it and be grossed out um, could use some ammo in this argument, and I'm interested in hearing my ammo. favorite oh, comedian please. rant about this subject. Oh, I have a feeling ammo? you just can't have might. a difference of opinion. Hey, can you, you be an adult? Ammo? Can you be an adult and let me finish I don't reading why this? He's got to put it like he needs ammo in this thing. Like you just uh, fucking disagree. It's fine. Are you done? Can I have some ammo so I can slap my girlfriend upside the head with some facts, man? Some <laughs> male facts. I, oh, yeah, as opposed to what, female facts? Yeah, we're the ones doing it. Hey. So, and l- uh, let me just, I'm just, no, I'm just going to Can I just off. finish the fucking no, thing? No. Okay. I'm going to say right now, okay? Just because you have found that there are most women who wouldn't just whip it out and breastfeed in public, and it's the same, a lot of women I know wouldn't feel comfortable doing, I wouldn't feel comfortable doing, I would want to cover myself up, but if a woman is not covered up, I support her right in doing that. So just because we wouldn't do it ourselves personally doesn't mean that we're not going to want it for other people. Shit happens. That kid's hungry. You don't always have your scarf or your cover up or whatever. And this kid is screaming and crying and you're stressed out. Here, put a tit in its mouth and so it'll, it'll be quiet and be fed and move on. It's not that big of a deal. You can avert your eyes and keep it moving. What is the problem? No, I'm just saying it's fucking, it's weird to look at. It is a little off-putting to be like, oh shit, she's breastfeeding. But like, move on, get over it. It's literally a second of your life well, that's to what look, the, listen, register, and listen, move on. That's what so he, he did. he doesn't need ammo, so then so why is listen, he writing hey, you Hey, hey, take your voice ammo. down, Nia. Take your voice down. Don't needing act like me. ammo. In order to come back to his girlfriend with, you know, these what these pearls of wisdom. Because no, because he's young and he thinks he's actually going to change your fucking mind. Like, because he should have just said, hey, fair enough. Agree to disagree. 
Look, all he did was he fucking looked at it and he had the natural, his natural fucking reaction, which, of course, feminists are going to say, no, man, that's not the natural reaction that was put into you by the fucking males that run society and boo, 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 and all that fucking shit. Like, this shit that guys do in public, I am sure that is totally fucking legal, that is disgusting. <laughs> like when you're adjusting your balls. Yeah. Do men even realize when they're doing it? Like sometimes they're just having a conversation with you and they just like tug on their balls. <laughs> some men know more than others. Some don't. Some, you know, more than others. But like, here's my thing. You know, if, if they're going to sit there and talk about man spreading, like the way we sit on trains, but mm-hmm. you can fucking whip your titty out and we're supposed to be like, hey, you know, blah, blah. We can't have a comment on that. You guys are just so fucking... And when I say you guys, I mean feminists. Like, you guys are just so fucking, like, looking at shit just one fucking way that it's, it's I don't know. Like, it, it gets, you, you're doing that classic fucking thing where it starts off, it's a good cause, and then by the end of it, you come out the other side. You're not 100% what the fuck you were fighting, but you have, a, all like, a lot of the same elements of shouting people down not wanting to hear the rest of the fucking guy's stuff you know you want to be listened to but this guy here is just being honest to how he feels and it makes you feel a certain type of way over the fuck you say it and then you fucking shout it down and all right fair enough yeah there you go fair enough there you go and you're right i did shout it down and i did like cut it off because i was annoyed by it but i think what it is is that there is just this this feeling of such like I, I don't know. I feel like the reaction is disproportionate to what they are reacting to. I feel like a child, you know, being fed from its mother, which is a very natural thing, and the reaction that that some men have to it is so disproportionate. It's like it's ridiculous. What it's is the, the reaction to the point? What to the the reaction is that he's comparing it to shitting in public. That to me is disproportionate to a child feeding off its mother. Really, to me, you think it's like no, shitting to me, in that, public? That, I thought that, sir, I thought really? it was. No, he doesn't think that was a clever fucking comeback to what she said. It's not that clever. It's fucking hilarious. It's dumb. That just means you don't have a good comeback for. Come on, you guys. Why? Well, you know what? Mm. Ugh. I'll tell you, nothing like a fucking feminist to come along and take the suck the laughter out of the room. He was the one asking for ammo about how to deal with this fact that, like, I and listen, his yeah, his girlfriend probably when she Jesus has a baby Christ, we did another gonna, hour since I turned this fucking thing no on. This way. is like a fucking two hour podcast. This oh. is like the longest one ever. Oh no, that's that's not good. That's too long, right? People don't want it to be that long. Yeah, it's probably too long. Um, anyways, Nia, Nia, Nia the end of the day, okay, mm. I, you know, p- people have a right to fucking react. They certainly do. They do. Like, they look at something, they're like, ugh. Okay? The same fucking, like, you're not allowed, you know, with with well, all of that type of shit that falls on the other side of the fence, you're not allowed to have your natural reaction to it. It's automatically considered that there's something fucking wrong with you and something like that. Dude, there's a lot of fucking, like, here's another thing, too. Like, there's so also, the there's also like, but there's also, being, like, teenage kids walking and around and, and all of that type cool. of shit, and you're whipping your fucking titty out. You can't walk around topless. It's right. considered indecent exposure right. in this fucking country. Right. Okay? There's kids walking around, blah, 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 blah. You're pulling out a fucking titty, and then you take a little mini me of you, and you stick it on the end of it. But I mean, not, yeah, there's, there's something, like, very alien about it. But I'm not For taking, guys, I'm, it's just but, weird. I know, but the thing is... And I'm we have not, a right to feel that way. I'm not saying we're right in what we're thinking. But nobody says shit on Bourbon Street during Mardi Gras, and that's not as natural as it is to feed a child, not to me. What do you mean nobody says shit? Nobody says shit on, on Bourbon Street and Mardi Gras when girls are flashing their tits for some like two cent plastic beads made in China. Then it's all good. Then it's like shots for everybody. No, but, but that's what it's like. It, someone's feeding their child yeah, but that's not at the legal. goddamn airport. It's not legal. But you don't see men being like, can you believe the way she just like, like they're they're into it. But a woman is feeding her child at the airport and all of a sudden it's like shitting <sighs> in public. No, because all of a sudden. That it, is because, disproportionate. All, because, because I can't even fucking give. I, oh, I got such a great example, but I can't fucking say it. Why not? Yeah, you're looking at the breast, and when they're just shaking their tits or whatever, it's like, yeah, okay. And then all of a sudden, there's a baby eating off of it. It's like, whoa, what the fuck? To people who don't have babies. It's weird. It freaks you out. Like, oh, yeah, that's right. They also do that. 
And it's also kind of fucking weird. You're just so, sitting okay, there eating a sandwich, and then you look down the thing. I know, Nia. I know. The whole fucking world needs to just be like, oh, okay, fuck all our feelings. Like, that's that's how this, this feminist shit is going, where it's just... You, your guy's side is 100% right. The way you see shit is 100% right. And a lot of times, most of the shit you're bitching about, guys had wrong, and I agree with it. But but this whole fucking thing that men cannot have fucking opinions. You guys can tell us how to sit down on a fucking subway, but we can't have a, a, a fucking reaction. To, I, look, I don't give a fuck if a woman breastfeeds. I don't. But like when I see some guy who, who has a reaction to it, and then he gets yelled at, like he he wants women not to be able to vote anymore. I just think it's a, it's a, a bit of a fucking overreaction. I just think that it's interesting that there are certain men who are more comfortable with seeing breasts sexualized than they are for what they Stop are. Stop saying sexualized for. like they're being exploited. They are more. They are more accepting of seeing a woman's breast being used in a sexual manner than they are for like the purpose of what breasts are for, which is like basically to feed children. That's not all they're because for. Because otherwise, they're that's just not all like they're for. Fat, like de- fat deposits. No, that's not all they're for. What do you mean that's not all they're for? It's for the, the, the survival of mankind in that nice Iraq attracted a fucking male <laughs> and he comes over and he bangs you. And then when you guys die, there's still other people. There's also that. So, in other words, for like procreation. Listen, there's there's no way to win this fucking argument because women want to be attractive. You want attention, yeah. But you want it when you want it. You want it how you want it. And, and guys have to know exactly when that is or and when it isn't. And if they don't, if they don't fucking guess right, it's like the end of a Tom Cruise movie when he's trying to clip which fucking wire one's going to blow it up, the other isn't. And if you don't 100% know when that fucking thing is, then you are like, uh, uh, I don't know what, you're the worst fucking person on the planet. So what are you saying? Just shut up and take it however you get it? No, that's not what I'm saying. Why do you have to go to that level of extreme? But and and your your Tom Cruise analogy, like the red no, wire I'm, or the blue I'm, wire I'm, I'm, is no, not extreme. No, I'm saying it's just like no matter what the fuck we do, we're wrong. It's like you want to fucking put on a fucking push up bra and have your tits in everybody's fucking face. So wow, uh, we, we, ladies, we're not paying for drinks tonight, right? Your fucking little skirt barely covering your fucking hoo-ha, okay? And then all of a sudden in a blink of a fucking eye is what the fuck are you looking at? I'm talking about that shit, and you know that shit. You know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying, but I don't know what that has to do with breastfeeding and any of that kind of stuff. Because that's not what we're talking about. Well, you let it into the whole thing, like you know, you 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 look at like sexualized breasts. We're all it always comes steering around well, to somehow that is men more acceptable but, but than, somehow, than a child being fed off of like the breasts, and I don't understand why that is. Why that's more comfortable? Because you're not a man to be to be like you're not a man. Well, then fine, maybe that's what it is. But like you, that's something that I feel like people need to get over. I would not breastfeed in public without being covered. But if a woman needs to do it, I get it, and it it shouldn't. I think people can just anybody. think what they think. I think people can just think what they think. I okay? think I don't feel that the way I look at shit, the, the way that they think and progress a little bit. That's how we get to find a little bit more understanding between the sexes, so we don't have the yeah, same. Yeah, but you know how that works though? every year. It's but like the you same know how that works? Argument like we're not getting anywhere. I don't understand. All right, but you know how because you know how that works. That progressing thing works. The only way there's progression in it is if men see the world the way women want them to see the world. That, that is the so-called progression between the sexes right now. That's what's fucking annoying because all of my shit is just considered ignorant and not valid and I'm a caveman and all of your shit is applause break talk show shit. 100%. And women can literally do exactly to men what the fuck they don't want done to them in different ways. And it's just, and it always, if a, if, if a guy gets completely fucked over by a woman, what do they say? Well, he picked her, shouldn't have married her. You know what I mean? You guys aren't necessarily held accountable for your actions when you pick a bad dude. If you pick a bad guy and he's a fucking piece of shit, then it's, you know, not only not your fault, it's the guy's fault and it's all men's and then all men have to sit down and listen to a fucking lecture or read a sign on a fucking subway. 
like we're all walking around dragging women down the street by the fucking hair. But there's no signs on the subway or anywhere else about the fucked up behavior that a lot of women display with men. Okay. So that, that I can accept that. Okay. So that's all I I'm saying. So that. this is another fucking thing where but. it's like your guy's reaction literally to how men sit on the fucking subway is 100% validated. I can't be like, listen, I got balls. I don't want to <laughs> smash them between my thighs. Fucking get over it. <laughs> I don't. I don't have that option. You you can be like, well, fuck you. I got to breastfeed my kid. Get over it. The way you look at it is fucked up. But our whole shit is we have to be like, oh, really? Is this is this is this issue nine thousand eight hundred sixty three of this fucking month that bothers you? Like you, like you guys are these faultless fucking human beings. Like I said, Nia, most of that feminist shit, I fucking agree with it. But like, it's just every fucking day now. Every day now, there's some new fucking thing. It's a fucking lecture. It's seeped into the comedy clubs. Everything is just so fucking precious now. It's stupid. Well, I know. Political correctness is like, across the board, is like, can be... I'm going to have to edit out like like nine hours of this shit. The enemy of like creativity and stuff like that. I definitely agree with that. It's childish. But I just feel like when it comes, I just... Yeah, There's political correctness like is, the, is is yet another thing. Its heart was in the right place, but it solves absolutely nothing. Right. No, I understand that. But all I you just, did was I you just, gave you gave truly horrible people a roadmap of words where they can navigate from one side of the river to the other and still have their fucking job. But what's in their heart is still in their fucking heart. But they know, can say Native like, American, African American, uh, uh, whatever whatever the fuck you're supposed to say. Post post person, milk person. It's just it's just fucking annoying to be like, hey, give me some ammo so I can tell my girlfriend why women shouldn't breastfeed in public. Like that just sounds like some ignorant shit to me. It sounds to me like he's losing the argument and she's probably affecting the mood of the fucking He's too dumb to just let it go because he's young. That's what he's doing. And I imagine right now that she's probably using sex as the lack of sex or whatever. To now punish him, and now he's walking around like a fucking little puppy that got slapped on the snout with a fucking newspaper. Like you a know, lot of guys in relationships. There are some people that are just modest about that kind of stuff. I had a friend over not too long ago, and she brought her six month old with her, and she had to breastfeed him. And when he was off the thing, you know, when he would drink some, and then he'd be sort of like looking around, she was like covering her boob, and it was just her and I in there. And there was a part of me that wanted to be like, you don't have to like cover your breasts in front of me, but that was a natural yeah, I'm, reaction. I'm not arguing his thing. I don't give up. a shit if women but, breastfeed in public. Yeah. I don't give a shit. I'm just saying that there are women who are, and I'm sure the reason why she was looking around like, you know, a dog taking a shit is because she's thinking, oh God, who's going to judge me? Who's going to judge me? When she should in an ideal, perfect world, just be there with her baby, what if she gets bonding, off on it? feeding, and then just Why is she a on. saint in this? See how you just said that? Oh my God, oh my God, he's going to judge me. She lives No, because in- she was saying he was, he was saying that she was looking around yeah, like she a lives dog in Columbia. taking a dump. She lives in Colombia. Who knows what the culture is down there, what the opinion is? I don't know shit about Colombia. Do you? No. Yeah, would you watch Narcos and all of a sudden you know what these fucking people are thinking? <laughs> no, I, have, I would never try to speak for no Colombians. Idea. I have no fucking idea what they think. She, no, they might, no it just might not be that, might be totally fucking normal. It, and it, she was just people isn't. watching. Or she might have been a freak and she was trying to see if anybody, you know, she's a little exhibitionist. Who knows what the fuck she was thinking? She was probably like, oh, Jesus Christ, for people looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm breastfeeding without a cover. She's probably really like having some sort of anxiety about it, I bet. It's probably socially acceptable. That's what I would guess. So she's just mm-hmm. fucking looking around. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. She's just looking around yeah. like normal. When's, when's my she wasn't leader? thinking anything. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs>